Hi folks, this week we're having a little bit of a walk near the township of Tharwa, which is in the south of Canberra. Uh, nice little historic bridge there, down to a little cemetery, and then back up uh, onto the river again with some nice scenery shots, by the way. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of the video and uh, have a bit of a chat about uh, what we saw. See you then. Morning viewers. Here we are, we're down in a little spot called Tharwa. Um, and of course the start of Thawa is the Thawa Bridge. As you can see in shot there, on the Murrumbud Murrumbidgee River. It's a little township actually inside the border of the ACT. I'm going to give you a bit of a look at this bridge in a second. So here we are, as it says, a Thawa Bridge on there. Uh, point of note, people, uh, when you're getting your stuff ready to go um, and explore places and the rest of it, uh, make sure your equipment is actually charged up. I uh, left the house this morning thinking everything was all good to go. I get out to do stuff and I noticed that my um, wireless microphone wasn't charged. So anyway, that's why we've, we've got the corded one on today, because um, unfortunately the other one was out of charge. I must admit the uh, walking track here doesn't seem to be very well signposted. On the original uh, map from the bridge, it looked like you went down to the river and up but it was a bit overgrown and I've just come up here and I've just stumbled across this. Now I think that is the start of the track. Even though it says cemetery, I think that might be the start of the track. But let's go and have a look and see, shall we? Um, should be a nice day. I'm guessing that someone's studying wombats along here too, because there's a few holes. And with the holes, so there's markers there. I'd say that's something to do with checking what comes in and out. So there's another hole there as well. I don't know whether it's the same hole or not. But there we have another one too. So, so there you go. Wombats, more of them. Nice, healthy, clean riverbank by the look of it. So a nice little walk in the countryside again. I tell you what, it's uh, <laughs> it's a good thing, bit of exercise. The hills up there and behind. There's a big hole. <laughs> Could. 
could be Sherwood Forest. Where's Robin Hood? Now that's a worry. This could be interesting. It's a tree down. But mind you, I think the track goes up and around, so let's give that a crack, shall we? Bloody hell. Can I get around? Looks like someone's made a little trek. Get around the tree. There we go. Then back down to the track. Yeah, it's a pretty sizable tree. You wouldn't like to have been walking along there when it come down. Mind you, I bet it's probably easy getting around this way when I come back. Maybe, maybe not. You might look at that when we come back, eh, folks? Because you never, never know, do you? Eh? Sometimes it is amazing what you stumble across. Just having a little walk. This looks like a little bit of camping ground or something in this whole place. I mean, look at that. Got some tents out, fire bucket there. There's lots of tents out over there. Anyway, let's keep walking then. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that, but anyway, let's keep going. There's a little sign down here might tell us something. Well, I think there's an answer there. That might be what we're looking at. Um, looks as though it's uh, Cuppa Cumberlong Homestead. Uh, there. Um, when was it constructed? 1848, look at that. Damaged by flooding, 1852 and 1854, crikey. They're a fair way up. I mean, look, river's all the way down there. So for it to come all the way up here, that must have been a big bloody flood. But anyway, there you go. Cup of Cumberlong Homestead. Let's keep moving. Any more along here to look at. Might be getting somewhere here. Eh? Murrumbidgee River Corridor. Nature Reserve. No camping, no puppies and no fires. So there you go. So if you bring your puppies, or you go camping, or you light a fire, you've been warned. You can't do it. Not that there's anywhere just here to camp, mind you. Don't think I'd like to camp in amongst that lot. Oh there, look at the thistles. Wouldn't be real comfortable to get up in the morning and roll over onto them, would it? It's also good to see they're doing a bit of land carry stuff out here, planting some new trees in amongst all this. There's a couple along here. Yeah, see a couple around there. Because uh, all these trees look introduced to me. Another wombat hole. Yes, and don't tell me there's another tree over the track. I mean, fed income. It's just getting silly. Well, there's a track down that way. And let's just see if this one is over the track. That's all right, there's definitely a track around this one. But it's been down a while. This tree. Uh, see more of this stuff that shouldn't be here. And then again, a little waddle. Oh, it's Pat Malone there. 
Oh, and that's an outward bound camp too. For kids. You know, that sort of thing they do um, ropes courses and, whoop, I'll go that way. Sort of thing where they do ropes courses and the like. Rock climbing, all that sort of stuff. I remember doing something similar to that as a kid. But uh, I went to a camp in Broken Bay, New Sydney. Anyway, enough of that. Keep an eye on where I'm going. Here we go, talk about wildlife. You see him sitting there on the track, sunning himself. Looks like a little blue tongue. Hey dude. Yeah, I'd say someone's got his tail maybe, cause his tail's a bit short. You know? I'll walk around him, try and leave him alone. We don't want to upset him. Here he goes. See you, dude. And now, like I was saying in a previous video as well, I mean, if there's going to be lizards out, be guaranteed there's going to be snakes out too. So we still got to be very wary of that because we don't want to be bitten by a snake out here because uh, there's not much around. And you can see here, Looks like there's been a fair bit of water that's gone down through there over the years. Down through there, as you can see the water a little bit further down. But I suspect that the water's actually on the other side of that hill. As you can see there where people have been walking through with that one. Mind you, there is one way to find out where it is, I guess. There's a nice little spot just over there for me to put something out to do it. That looked pretty cool, didn't it? Um, we had a look at that hill there, and just around in general. Um, did notice on there though, there's a few more buildings and things that are up here as such. I don't know where that cemetery is yet, but I'm guessing we will eventually find it if we keep walking that way. So let's keep going then. Now how peaceful would it be to live out here? It's lucky fellas. Lucky families living out here. The river just down there. You know, if it was uh, Mrs. Victor and I living out here, I know where she'd be most of the time. She'd have a well worn path down to the river that way, I'd reckon. Might have some more signages down here. Oh, hello. We might have something here. Proper sign. We'll go and have a look at that. Ah, I think we found the cemetery. I can see a headstone there. So let's head on up and have a look, shall we? Okay, so we found the cemetery. Um, it's a nice little spot though. We just up, you see the river there? It'd be a nice little place to be, to be buried, but anyway. Ah, uh, got the main sign there. It tells you all about it. Whatever you make it up here. The DeSalis Cemetery, established 1876. 
are about to go up and have a bit of a look up around there and see what it's like. I'm not mistaken, that looks like a bit of a creek running in behind it. Down there. We might look at that in a minute too. Well, you've been here a little while. Ah, yes, I remember reading something about this. That instead of digging down through the, the rock, they built it up and buried people. Florence was only 23, 1902, buried with a grandmother, Elizabeth. Poor old Bill was only 55. But yeah, lovely spot, look at it. Right spot. Yes, yeah, so that looked pretty cool, didn't it? From the air, so it's a lovely spot. This one. Look, even if you if you do make it out here, of course, and if you want to sit here and contemplate for a while, there is a little chair there for you under this old pine tree. That's there. Sit underneath those mountains. When those last lot of bushfires come through. I reckon that would have been pretty hairy sitting there looking at those mountains going up. Okay then, we've had a look at that. So let's head back down to the bridge and have a look on the other side. Apparently there is a point of interest there too where the old bridge used to go across, I believe. Uh, I met a bloke this morning who told me that. So we'll uh, have a look at that, shall we? and see what's down there. You know, it's amazing what you see when you're not looking. Here's me trundling around, wondering where I am. And there's this little signpost marked. Mind you, they could have made it a little bit easier to see. They're pretty darn small, isn't it? So there you go. Anyway, I found it anyway, so all good. Yeah, 
I don't think I'm gonna to get too far down there, but let's have a look anyway. Never know your luck. If not, I'll be heading back up where I came from, but anyway, let's have a look. It's all an adventure. Pretty sure my mother used to say something like that. We're not lost. It's all an adventure. I'm very careful where I'm treading because I don't want to tread on something I shouldn't. Um, that's a big no-no. I'm gonna try and get through here. And there's our tree. You think they'd come along and remove that, wouldn't you? But anyway, it's not me making the decision and I've gotten around it now, so so all good. So there you go, managed to get around that tree again. Um, funnily enough, it was a bit easier going the other way, um, up the top of the hill and around. Because there was a fair bit of river debris down there of course and I was a bit worried about going through it putting my foot through it and doing some of that horrible nasty stuff but we made it through so we'll head back to the bridge which we're nearly there I can actually see it through there I don't know if you can but um, head back to there and have a look up the other way as recommended geez I'll tell you what um, mobile power pack's wonderful. Um, I'm now back on the wireless microphone, so there's no cord. It's brilliant. But anyway, um, we're going to try this side of the bridge. A uh, fellow that I bumped into this morning was telling me that the old bridge, the original bridge, was down this way somewhere. So we're going to go down and have a look. And we'll see if that's right. He said to follow this track down, which we're going to do. I actually drove down here this morning thinking this is where we're going to park anyway. So we'll go down here and we'll have a bit of a look-see, hey? And uh, hopefully there's something to look at. If not, well, it's a bit of exercise anyway, isn't it? Well, fence. Let's get over this fence without hurting myself, hey? There we go. And so we're just in town still. There was that one. Um, yes, it's still a hiking trail. As you see, no dogs, no fires and no tents. Now there is another sign down here for me to have a look at. This hopefully it'll tell me where I am. That's always really handy. I don't know, improving the river for fish. Okay, well, might tell us what fish are any for those interested. Oh, yeah, Murray cod, trout cod. Good old yabbies and Macquarie perch. I wonder if that's what he was talking about, the completed engineered log jam. Well, that doesn't tell me it's an old bridge, but anyway, we'll go and have a look and see. Now, I think I found the log jam thing. As you can see, I'm a little bit off the track there, but unfortunately, it's down there. And I want to get down there, but anyway, I might try and find somewhere down in amongst that grass. I think there's a little trail track down there to get there. But I think I can actually walk back up that way to get out. Let's go and have a look-see. Yeah, that way. 
bloody thistles. I was going to swear a bit harder then, but I don't want to offend anyone. Now, here we are. This looks better. I'm wondering if I can get back up through there. But anyway, another look at the river here. I might uh, have a closer look at a couple of those things and see. So I hope you enjoyed that bit too. Uh, so, as I keep saying, it's a handy little bit of kit that, isn't it? Anyway, I've got to try and get my way out of this bloody forest now. I reckon I should be able to get through up here. Oh yeah, that probably would have been an easier way. Look, I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but the banks of the river as such, um, they're not as tidy as the ones near home that we did in the previous video to White Rocks down here. I don't know whether it's just because it's a different area or whether it's the fact that it's the ACT government to look after this here instead of the, um, instead of Queanbeyan Council or Parks New South Wales or whoever does the river there. But yeah, it's just not as nice. There seems to be more weeds growing. Um, yeah, so just, just my random thought anyway. So there you have it, Thawa, um, Cup of Cumberlong um, is there as well. Now, just a couple of points of note. Uh, the old Thawa Bridge, I'm referring to a couple of notes here, by the way, because I can't remember everything. Now, the old Thawa Bridge there is a four-span bridge that provides a crossing point across the Murrumbidgee River, and of course, in the south of Canberra. Now, the bridge was opened on the 27th of March, 1895, and by the way, they actually declared a public holiday in Canberra that day, so it must have been pretty special. Now, the homestead itself uh, is a former 4,000 acre sheep and cattle grazing property. And it's near the junction of the Murrumbidgee and Gudgeonbee rivers. Now, the word Cupper Cumberlong 
of course, is an Aboriginal word uh, meaning meeting of the waters. Now it was actually built around 1835, so it's been there for quite a while. Now you can actually get accommodation there as well if you want to book that. Um, also, um, you can have it for functions and things like that. They do anything from just a simple room, I guess you could call it, non-suite room, through to, as you saw in the video there, tents as a camping ground. Now, the cemetery itself was actually part of that property. It's known as the DeSalla Cemetery or the Kappa Cumberlong Cemetery. Now, the reason why it's the way it is, is that um, they found that they buried a couple of their family members um, on the riverbank. And of course, after a couple of floods, unfortunately, their remains were, were sort of washed downstream. So what they did was instead of digging down, they dug up. So what they found was that the rock was too hard to actually dig down into. So what they did was over a few months is they brought a whole heap of soil in to build it up. And then they dragged in a lot of rocks and things and put around it. And then they found they were able to then bury people down um, as far as needed. But anyway, if uh, you want to uh, know what I'm, what I'm up to in the next couple of weeks, which um, I've got a few videos lined up that I know you'll like, uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, um, and you can keep up with uh, what I'm doing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, sorry about it being a week late, but um, hope it was worth the wait. Um, I'll see you all next week. Bye.